Who also met once, well, they met twice, I should say, in uh, 2016, and they've shared the wins this year. So this one could be a tight one. Although Gao won their last meeting in straight games, 11-8, 11-7, 11-9. <laughs> you take a look at Rafael Super. Gower, who did lose to Super at the Slovenian Open this year. That one was in four games. This, as I say, a, a class two matchup, which means uh, no sitting balance with reduction of function in the playing arm. So we uh, just take a look at the Brazilian umpire, Flavio Both. And here's Gao, who has a little bit more experience at this level in terms of playing at the Paralympics. He uh, was in both Beijing and in London. In fact, uh, he was part of the uh, Chinese team that won bronze in London. Uh, no, sorry, in Beijing in 2008. And he also won gold as part of the London team in uh, 2012. And the, uh, the class three there is uh, now the class two. He was part of that Class three team, and one goal for China. He's had a, a fair amount of success throughout his career. He's now 52 years of age. He's uh, won silver at the Asian Championships in the Class two in 2015, bronze in 2013 in the same competition. He's had a decent 2016. Comes into this event after winning the China Open. And also picked up a bronze medal in Slovenia at the Slovenia Open. So it's tough to tell who's the favourite for this one, although Gao is uh, ranked ninth in the world, super ranked at number two. He is a former world number one, though, the pole. That's that uh, achievement back in September 2014. That was the last time he was ranked as uh, the world number one. As a uh, former European champion, and that in 2013 was uh, silver medalist last year in that competition. And, uh, he uh, picked up the silver in the team event in the World Championships in 2014 in Beijing. He uh, was knocked out in the quarterfinals of the singles there. He's had a, a solid 2016, won silver at the Slovenian Open and bronze at the Slovakia Open. Two strong nations, though, in terms of para table tennis. Of course, uh, as usual, with table tennis, China lead the way in the medal lists. With uh, 46 golds China have picked up at para table tennis. 13 golds in the men, 78 medals in total. And right at the top out of that medal table. Whereas Poland, they've uh, got six golds, 24 medal medals in total. They're 16th on the medal list. Three of those golds coming in the men's. And I'm sure it's super. He's hoping to at least medal here. He says his ambition is to medal. He hasn't listed it as to win gold. He's at proudest moment, though was winning gold at the European Championships in 2013 in Lignano in Italy. Maybe that sportsman is uh, Novak Djokovic, so I hope to play to his standards, of course, today. impairment which uh, was acquired in uh, as a paraplegia as a result of a gymnastics training accident in 1997 began playing the sport in 2007 at the age of 43 it is uh, one of the really good things about para table tennis you can come to it at a late age and have a lot of success and he's had plenty of success of course as I say a bronze medalist from 2008 in Beijing he talks about his first ever gold medal in singles being his highlight at the Asian Championships in 2011 in Hong Kong. And uh, with that performance, by winning those Asian Championships, it meant that he could qualify for London 2012. Finished seventh in the singles in London. So hoping to go a little better this time around here in Rio. So then we're just about ready. To start this uh, Group B encounter, it will be Gao to kick things off in his uh, first match at the, these Paralympic Games. Super, of course, having got one win under his belt already.
Good start then by the pole. Start will be key, of course, with the tight matchup and history that these two have against one another. As coach uh, Eric Ivanitsky, as uh, Super's coach, been with him since 2010. It's been a really dominant start by the 28-year-old. Looking to really take the game to Gao. Do you always feel that players who have one match under their belt already have a slight advantage. They can be used to the conditions and, and feel that they're really into the games. Gao really yet to get going. Points in a row then for Super. Having given this the build up of saying that it was going to be a tight encounter. It's not proving that way so far, although Gout is finally on the board in this first game. A little better from Gout. He's making his opponent play a few more shots on that occasion. Uh, clever, there's a bit of side spin on the ball. So lands and just cuts away from his opponent. Look at that, just undercuts it. And Gout thinking he could reach it without wheeling his way over to it. A little short, and that's another really clever angle. And yeah, it's good sportsmanship to see, isn't it, from Gout? Thumbs up to his opponent. That's just too good from Super. There's the shot again. It's a really clever and intelligent play from Super. Hitting the high ball, but putting lots of side spin on it. And there it is again. And there is just no chance for Gao to reach that one. And it's eight game points for Super. question here for Gow is how he's going to be able to neutralise that shot as uh, Super closes out what was a very impressive first game. And 11 points to two. So Gao, who was thoroughly outplayed really in that first game, and Super has work to do in this second game. Oh, really that Super was dominant in every area of the table. It's better movement though from Gao. He was quicker up to the shorter ball there. I'm sure his discussion with his coach would have been all about how to stop those high side spin balls that. Super has been playing, there's another one, and he's got it right into the corner of the court. I say corner, but of course, the angle on it, deadly accurate. There's plenty of height on the ball, so there's plenty of time to react to those shots from Gao. Not allowing his opponent that time to throw those high spinny shots. Better start then in this game from Gao. As they may have just taken him a little while to settle into this competition, this being his first ever match here in Rio.
was far more competitive. Remember it was Gao who won their last meeting in straight games. You wouldn't have thought that if you'd watched the last game. He keeps finding that bottom corner, doesn't he? And super. Took that so early. He's pretty much on the half volley. And this time it's Gao's turn to try and find an angle, but undercooks it. Oh, that's beautiful. At the moment, the touch has been exemplary from the world number two. Gao going hard and fast down the middle, which is a good tactic because it just means that the pole isn't able to play those delicate high balls with spin. Stops him hitting the shots with angle as well, although he's frustrated with himself there. Going up the line with the forehand. And again, misses the same shot. This time it puts it long. And put the number four into the net, so maybe overcorrecting himself there, Super. Forehand that he's missed, and that would be a cause for concern for the pole. Interesting to see if Gal targets that wing now. Just drifted along there from Gal. Reaction so from Super to react to the net court. He's just spread that one wide, and you can see Gal's frustrated with himself, couldn't resist to go for it. Great reach from Super. It was almost a tentative point. You were wondering who was going to pull the trigger first, but that's the pole who was able to out rally his opponent. He's looking good now in this game. Three game points for the world number two. He takes it on the first one. And he is in a very, very commanding position now. Here's Rafael Super. It's the second game. By 11 points to seven to go up two games to love. So, it feels like a long way back for Gao now. Super, who finished that second game by far the stronger. He's in the balance at one stage. It's Gao to get this third game underway. Has 
hasn't been all that effective when he's tried to flatten out on the ball and really go for it super. He's made a few errors, the majority of them coming off the forehand side. Devilish serve, wasn't it? Plenty of sides been into the body of Gao. Right on top of that one was Gao. Struggled with this ball a, a few times, but it's able to get there a little quicker. Knifing down the back of the ball, cutting it away from Super. A little bit of a net cord on it as well. That was a good serve. Got the pole on the stretch. Nice variation being shown then by Gao. So he'll have plenty of belief after winning their last contest. Now look at the side spin on the ball from Super. That shot has been so effective for him today. Is that one long that just the pole? Yeah, has to get on top of it quickly and did that time. Read the play. This is the way he's going to have to negate those side spin high balls. Got to jump on it before he allows time for the ball to spin away from him that's another high one and Gal realizes that there's no hope of reaching that one loads of backspin on the ball and again Gal really doing the only thing he can do and just saying good shot and if he can pull that one off time and time again then it's fair play isn't it to the pot Drifting long for Gao, so five points apiece in this third game. And that's another wonderful angle. And the angles that he's getting is from the middle of the table. He's generating all of the angles himself. Super play. Right into the corner. And the speed of the rally. Something else. Do you feel that Gow is running out of time here to turn this one around? It's been a really polished performance from the world number two. change of ball is needed. Possibly a timeout has been called as well by uh, China. I think it has. So these uh, timeouts often used uh, not just to talk about tactics but they use tactically as well just to stem someone's momentum. And it has been Zupa who's got the momentum in this third game. Momentum really in the match after winning the first game 11 2. The game was a little tighter at 11 7, and this one's still in the balance. Now an experienced player, and so we'll know that he needs to not panic here. Super, incidentally, is already through to the knockout phase because he only needed to pick up one game to ensure that he would finish ahead of the uh, Brazilian, Conchei Chao, Espinol Dola. So Gao will know that his uh, fate may well rest in that match against uh, the Brazilian. Two points away from victory, Super. Make that just the one point away. Oh, 
Well, that is a really dominant performance from Rafael Super. Near perfection from the pole. He wins in straight games and ensures that he tops the group in Group B. Moves through to the knockout phases. He has defeated Gao Yanming 11-2, 11-7, 11-6.